This is of JSP lifecycle in Jakarta server pages. Uh, here you can see the faces of JSP lifecycle. Uh, JSP lifecycle contains the following faces. Uh, when we send a request from the client uh, to the server for a specific JSP file, uh, especially JSP page then the container will devote the request identify the request that pages and perform the subsequent lifecycle actions uh, J, uh, J, uh, JSP loading in this space the container will load the JSP files into the memory from the web application directory structure JSP passing and uh, in this space the container will check the whether all tags available on the JSP page are in well formed format or not JSP is translation to servlet. When the JSP received the first request from the client, the JSP container translate JSP into servlet. After JSP passing container will uh, translate the loaded JSP page into a specific servlet. While executing the uh, JSP page, Tomcat container will provide the translated servlet within the following location at Tomcat server. This is uh, C then Tomcat 9.0 work, Catalina, local lost oak, Apache, JSP first underscore jsp.java uh, if the jsp name is the first dot jsp then tomcat server will provide the servlet with the name first underscore jsp all the translated servlet provided by tomcat container are by default final and the default superclass of the translated servlet is the http jsp based the jsp page interface has declared the following method public void underscore jsp init method and public void underscore jsp destroy method and the http so jsp page interface has provided the following method public void underscore jsp service http servlet request rec http servlet response rest uh, for, for the above three abstract methods, the HTTP JSP base class has provided default implementation, but the JS underscore JSP servlet method would be overridden at the first underscore JSP class with the content that we provided in the first JSP file. Uh, servlet compilation uh, after successful translation of servlet container uh, will compile servlet Java file and generate the respected dot class. Uh, file here the source program is compiled and generate bytecode do dot class file serverless loading in this space uh, this color container will load the translator servlet class bytecode into memory and here the compiled dot class file is loaded into jvm uh, servlet instantiation uh, in this space the container will load the translated servlet class bytecode into memory and here creates an object of the loader class servlet uh, uh, initialization in this space the container will access the underscore JSP init method to initialize the servlet here the JSP is initialized by this uh, calling uh, JSP init method uh, creating request and response object uh, uh, after servlet is initialized successfully the container will create a thread to access the underscore J JSP service method for this uh, for this container has to Create HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response. Uh, generating dynamic response. Uh, uh, after getting the request and response object container will access the underscore JSP service method by executing its content and then container will generate some response to the response object. Uh, dispatching dynamic response to the client. Uh, when the container generator thread reaches the ending point of the underscore JSP service method, then that thread is going to be dead in a dead state. This will, uh, with this container, will dispatch dynamic response to the client through the response format. Uh, destroying request and response objects. Uh, when the dynamic response reaches to the client uh, protocol, will terminate its virtual socket connection. This will, uh, with this container, will destroy the request and response objects. Servlet uh, de, uh, de instantiation after destroying the request and response object container is going to be in, uh, in a waiting state depending, depends on the container then the container identified no further request for the equivalent resource 
and then the container will destroy the server dot object. For this container, we'll execute the underscore JSP destroy method. Server uh, uh, and JSP unloading after server the uh, instantiation container will eliminate translated JSP to translate a server byte code and a JSP code from the memory. Uh, here you can see the request is connected to JSP loading, JSP loading is connected to JSP passing, JSP passing is connected to JSP translation to servlet, this, this, uh, JSP translation to servlet is connected to JSP compilation and it is connected to servlet loading, servlet loading is connected to servlet in, in, uh, instantiation, servlet instantiation is connected to servlet initialization, it, it is connected to request processing and request processing is connected to response here. And request processing is going to do servlet de initialization, de instantiation. Uh, servlet de instantiation is connected to servlet unloading, and servlet unloading is connected to servlet uh, unloading is connected to JSP unloading. The, the then the it's this end. Now uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching it.